Hi class, we are going to start a uh, calculator app. So today I set up a index.html, calculator.css, and calculator.js file off screen. I put them in a folder called calculator. You should be able to do that uh, by now. Um, and we're just going to focus on the uh, CSS and the index.html. Your calculator does not need to look like a calculator. It's just got to have all the buttons. So div class is a button. The ID should be unique. Um, button zero. And the uh, on click. Um, so when we do an on click, um, we'll say number pressed zero, and then give it an ID of zero. Then we do not button one, call number press with an argument of one, give it a label of one. We're going to do that all the way down to nine. button uh, plus, we'll say plus pressed, plus symbol, and uh, we'll do an equal symbol. and so on and so on. So let's look at what this looks like so far. Um, so you're going to be making all of the button, all of the numbers. And if we uh, say calculator, you're going to want all the numbers that you would find on this calculator, which I attached a screenshot of this. It will not be functional. The display won't work. You need a display. Um, I'm going to put the display first, but the order actually is up to you. Div class equals display. And ID equals display. Um, we'll probably only have one display, but I want to have a class as well. And uh, we'll start it with 0, 0. Um, then you go into the CSS, and I would just like you to, oh, oh, we need to attach the CSS. And that's um, blank rel equals style sheet. href equals the name of your style sheet. And the order doesn't matter if you do href first or rel first. I actually normally like href first, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, then here, background color, I'll make it gray. Make it whatever color you want. Um, but then. Once you get a background color, make sure that it's working. And then you've got buttons. Um, give them a unique font. Uh, give them a color. OK, that's, that's looking fine. I want to make the width to fit the text, so um, let's Google that. CSS
and uh, this display inline block, I think that might work. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but yeah, there's <clears throat> now we got some good buttons going. I realize I want these pixels to be a little wider. Um, and um, put them in order. Uh, you can break, there are ways to break it up. I'll show you some ways, but if your calculator doesn't look like a traditional calculator, that's fine. Um, I am going to give it a border. Um, and when you click on them, let's, uh, let's when you hover, I'm going to go, uh, oop. okay, so this gives us, we're, I'm just uh, grabbing a shadow. Um, so when you hover over, I'm going to take this CSS and um, put it here, um, indent it. You don't have to do all this, but now when I hover over, there's a shadow, and then um, button.active. Um, and this this is all up to you if you want to. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do transform um, translate x two pixels and Y two pixels. Um, so no, oh, it didn't do anything. Oh. Colon active. So it's like pushing the button when you push it. Um, I don't want the text to be selectable. And um, all of this is uh, extra. You don't have to do this. Um, and uh, these are blocks of code just so that it works on all browsers. Um, you don't even need all blocks of code. So in the button, actually, I'm going to say in the body. We want, no, in the button. We don't want the text to be selectable. Again, must indent. There we've got a nice button, and I'll make a display. And uh, background color, I'm gonna make that one black, and the color will be white. Padding. Um, and I guess I might change it so it has a uh, different uh, minus one fonts. I don't like the default fonts. Um, embed import grab the content of the style, 
but since we're in a style sheet, we don't need to grab anything else. And then uh, the font family. And I'm going to put that font family in the button and in the display. I don't even think I like that one either, but um, I can go and change that off screen. So um, we've got buttons. There are calling functions. Uh, we don't have any functions yet. We're not going to write those today, but number pressed zero if you press zero, number press one if you press one, number press two if you press two, button press, uh, button plus if you press uh, plus. Sorry, oof. And you do need the uh, parentheses afterwards. Um, I'm sure that's going to get some of you, but at the end, um, and for all of the uh, different symbols, they'll they'll be unique function presses. Um, and uh, that's your lesson for today. Enjoy.